in in English in English yes in English it's okay o să întrebăm acum pe duhovnicul mănăstirii din Arizona Papa Efrem despre sinodul din Creta cum vede Papa Efrem sinodul din Creta Papa Efrem you can tell us about your opinion about the so called synod of Crete Yes. Now from uh, Arizona. Yes, yes, and I would like to say that the, it, theology is a very important thing in our church to to, to have a, a good understand to, to to understand what it is that the Holy Fathers teach is correct theology, and this is something. That, that should concern us very much because in Crete there are some very serious theological things discussed. I must admit that I have not looked into great detail into all of the both sides of what people are saying about whether it was a right thing or a wrong thing, but based on what I have seen so far, which is not very much but a little bit, I, see, I'm, I'm, I have drawn the, the temporary conclusion That, the, that there were some serious mistakes made at the Synod of Crete. And I'm basing this especially based on what some very respected theologians of the church in Greece have said, in particular, Metropolitan Eurotheos Vlachos and Metropolitan Seraphim of Piraeus. And, I've, and based on, on and, and also Dmit Professor Dimitris Tsemengidis, And so based on, on these very well-respected people and Father Theodoros Zisis, uh, I, 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 I have drawn the temporary conclusion that it was a, a, there were some serious mis mistakes made there. And that is my current position. But I do want to add that because I haven't looked at it in very detail and because I also admit that I'm not a theologian, I, 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 I'm saying this is only a temporary position of mine right now. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Father Ephraim, because um, uh, we have the testimony of uh, all these fathers, and uh, we, we we this all lead to the like Father Peter Hears, that is uh, my good friend. He wrote yeah, a book I'm about this. <laughs> I'm very happy <laughs> on this because uh, fa uh, Father Peter Hears uh, wrote a, a book. His uh, his uh, um, PhD uh, work. Uh, about the Council to Council of Vatican. So uh, we can see in Crete we have uh, the so-called uh, Toronto Statement and uh, the recognition of the WCC, uh, World Council of So-called Churches. So uh, we, we said about the other, the other co uh, Christian communities, we don't say uh, neither Christian communities, we said churches. Uh, churches, so it's a big problem because we, there is one church. So j when you name them churches, is a problem, and um, uh, it's another thing that is very very confusing, is that um, uh, they talk in the there about uh, about the common baptism, and um, uh, the belief in the Holy Trinity, and uh, in Jesus Christ like your personal savior like a savior. So, they don't say Jesus Christ uh, human and divine because they will upset the monophysite. Uh, and there is a dogmatic, dogmatic minimalism. Minimalism. So, um, this, uh, this, this seems to be the second Vatican uh, theology that talk about uh, uncompleted churches. There is the church. We said, yes, we are the church, the one holy Catholic and Apostolic, we the Orthodox are the Church, but, and the others are in the way, in a way, they are in the Church. So this is called ecclesiological heresy. It's like Arianism, like Nestorianism, like Monophysitism. Now we have ecclesi ecclesiological heresy. So it's, um, we live very difficult times now in Orthodoxy. Thank you very much, uh, Father Ephraim. <laughs> and hello to all uh, from here, from Arizona, from the monastery of uh, Elder Ephraim. And now you heard the testimony. <laughs> Thank you.